I was working in the United Kingdom and we were trying to understand there are rising groundwater levels in London and Birmingham. This is a very common kind of post-industrial cities in Western Europe. Groundwater levels are rising. If you are taking the underground in London, for instance, you have to appreciate that when you're on the tube, you should be underwater. Right. You're not underwater in the tube because pumps are actively pumping and dewatering the subsurface in London to ensure that you don't drown. And then the thought was, what could we do something with that water? How do you address the rising groundwater level problem? So we put in multi-level piezometers. So these are wells that can go to different depths. What we found, very curiously, was that the groundwater at depths of 40 or 50 meters into sandstone, into chalk, beneath London and Birmingham and places like that, what we found was that it was contaminated with fecal viruses and bacteria. I presented this at 20 odd years ago at a, a number of conferences and people just looked at me and said, you're wrong. Now, today, people will say yes. And it's not as if their survival is much enhanced. We just recognize now that particles, micro, microbial particles can move through the subsurface much more fast, more quickly than we thought previously thought. And it's this idea of sometimes challenging paradigms with observation 